Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. I really do. I, I, I know you hear me say that, but I want to let you know I do appreciate everyone who tunes in, everyone who subscribes, everybody who contacts me, uh, you know, everybody who follows me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you to everyone. So I have a lot of videos that I want to do, and I have just like a small amount of time. And so what I'm going to try to do is uh, next Friday, I'm going to have some, some time uh, in the morning and the afternoon, I'm going to try to, to record like a bunch of videos so I can get them posted. So, but what this video is about <clears throat> is about tweaking Unify or tuning Unify. I see, you know, some people say, you know, I've got a bunch of devices in Unify and my controller is really slow. And I actually had a client who, uh, believe it or not, they provide internet access in Papua New Guinea. And so they sell vouchers. And they they had hundreds of thousands of vouchers in the system, and the system was slow. And they would create 100,000 vouchers at a time, and it was really slow. So what we did was we ended up tuning Unify. And I'm going to show you how we did that. This is, uh, first of all, we were on a DigitalOcean droplet, and it was an SSD droplet. So we made sure we had you know, a really fast server, but then also we made sure that that server's got 32 gigs of RAM, so we've got room to tune this if they grow into the, you know, the, the millions and the tens of millions of vouchers, which is a real possibility for them. So if you have a lot of devices, a lot of activity, and you notice that your, your Unify is acting kind of sluggish, kind of slow, um, let's take a look at this. So, you know, Unify... Um, has, you know, it's integrated with, with Java. You have to have Java to have the Unify server. And so, by default, the Unify server uses a gig of memory. That's it. A gig. And, but in Java terms, it's called, uh, a heap. And there's a startup heap and a maximum heap. But it's, it's memory. Let's think of it as, as memory, right? So the startup, is how much the program starts with and the maximum is how large can the heap file grow so by default it's a gig right so if you cruise on over to your unify controller now to get into the data directory you're not going to be able to do it as your standard uh, user you could do it as root or you could um, do it as the unify user i just did it as root because this is the lab box now within the user lib unify data folder, there's this system.properties file. And if we do a more on system.properties, we're going to see that this file controls a lot of things inside of our controller. Ports. We can change the ports. You don't have to run the web interface on 8443. You can change it so it's just standard 443. You can do that in this file. You can also work with the ciphers that are available, uh, the protocols. You can see that um, the HTTP op HTTPS options in here uh, by default. You can come in here and you can tune all of that. You can tune a lot of things in this system.properties. So you should go out and, and you can read about the file. If you do a you know, Google search, it'll probably come up. But what we're going to do is we are going to define the startup and the maximum heap size or memory size that Unify can use. So we would do a nano system.properties. And we're going to go down and we're going to put a, a pound or a hash sign because that will be ignored by the system. And we can put a comment after it. So this is a new Unify memory size. So we come down here. Now this is measured in megabytes. So what you're seeing here is about 10 gigs, right? So mine's running with a gig, um, but I'm not, I'm not really happy with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it two gigs. Or you know what? We could actually, we could actually give it uh, four, four gigs. So we would save that, and then we would do a service uh, unify restart. Now, there are other things, if you're running on like a DigitalOcean controller, there's some other software you should actually um, install 
to make your Unify controller run smoother. And if you're interested in that, contact me and, and we can talk about that. So now my my uh, Unify is restarted. And if we pull up, let's try that again. Let's see. So you can see that it's running and somewhere in here um, we can see where the, uh, you can see how much memory it is using. So I have a lot of Unify stuff going on here, like the voice over IP controller, the video controller, but you can take a look at this. Okay, so yeah, so here it is down here, uh, 4,096, so uh, 4 gig. So if you're having, you know, uh, problems, definitely look at your hardware, make sure you've got plenty of hardware, you've got plenty of memory, but then come in here and tune this, and I will put those two little tweaks down in the description. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there. They don't change your price. They just kick a few bucks to the channel to keep, you know, keep gear rolling in. And uh, we appreciate everything you do. And we'll see you in the next video.